where does this leave interest rates? Could we maybe expect a QT, some QT language, QE language to make it into the into the, the statement? And what, yeah, what about interest rates? Yeah, so I would expect them to do 25 basis points. I mean, I think going forward, you're still going to have this underlying kind of issue with the maturity and transformation that banks are doing. And because banks are now wary of that and the consequences of that, I think they're going to be less likely to less willing to lend going forward. Corporates are probably going to be a little bit more conservative. So I think, you know, there are going to be, you know, more permanent effects of this volatility, even if we get past it, that, you know, you're probably you know, lowering demand in the, you know, the, you know, one, two, three quarters out, and you're probably pulling forward and increasing the likelihood of a recession. So I think it probably limits where we get in terms of the terminal rate, but I do think the Fed wants to hike at the March meeting, 25 basis points, probably another 25 in May. In terms of QT, I, I think they'll probably leave it ongoing. You know, the, the mortgage runoff is pretty limited just given where prepayments are. Treasuries are kind of on, you know, a fixed pace and, you know, it's, you know, that with, you know, absolute certainty going forward over the next few months, kind of the next big decision may be for the May meeting, because that'll come before the Fed will have very large maturities from, because it's a quarterly refunding month based on kind of how Treasury issues debt. Um, so maybe they might start to talk a little bit more and give more guidance in remarks between the March and May meeting about what they're thinking about the level of reserves, they'll have more clarity in terms of the take up of the BTFP. Um, but I think for now, they don't want to surprise on that front at the March meeting. And they'll just say, hey, we'll see what happens with the BTFP. He'll take questions on that and talk about the aggregate level of reserves. 